And the Eagles able to get it back out quickly. Cross out ahead now. Kevin Hayes, a little drop pass there for Cross. His wrister goes in for Boston College, and the Eagles strike first. By the Eagles, it creates the turnover. Now you have a counterattack. Nice little crisscross here, and this cross who ends up with the puck. And this ball, this puck's going to pinball twice. And you get Rawlings moving off that near post. Cross is trying to make a play into that slot area. Was not trying to really throw it on goal. Just... This pass to the corner. Vermish back to the line. Lixiak. Heimler. Long shot score! Huskies tie the game on the power play. And they were patient. They were trying to work their plays. Good little rotation on the half wall. The D spread it out. And what a good lesson that uh, you don't have to take that back scratching slap shot from the point to have it be an effective shot. Not sure if this puck changed direction or not, but I... Reed, long look and a pass off to McLeod. In the right circle, McLeod. Off to Reed with a shot, score! Huskies score again! And lead it 2-1. to one. Tee up one, timers in both directions. I love this play. You force the defense to kind of get out of their comfort zone as far as how their triangle wants to defend with motion. You don't have to stay in the same spot. The lane. Back to the point for Way. The cross, a one-timer wide of the net. Rebound in front. Score! The lane. Touch the rebound home. And Boston College ties the score 2-2. Two to two. Puck possession in the offensive zone. Getting to lose pucks. Body position. And just a quick stick and a strong stick by Mullane. Able to slam this puck into an empty net before Rawlings can get back after the one-timer from Cross at the right point. Way that time, Hoopkin able to get it out. It's Dungara. Steps to center, shorthanded for Northeastern. Dungara, full head of steam, scores! Dungara, what a bid for the Huskies to put him on top. 3-2, shorthanded. Effort. Dungara's going to pick that puck up just inside his own zone. Tremendous speed to the outside. No fakes. I'm just going to beat you, Samuelson, to the outside was the message, and he does. And I love that little move. Slides the puck under the stick of Samuelson between the blade of his stick and his skates. Off down the lane. Quick pass on the right side across. And the two left to go on the other extra man advantage. In front, Mullane. Shot score! Prater on the doorstep for Boston College. A power play tally ties it at three. Tape passes, the rotation out high, the fake one-timer, and then Mullane's able to find Kreider in that high slot, but it all starts out high along the blue line. With a little exchange out high, get the penalty-killing formation to have to move. Game last week, and was able to beat Harvard on Monday night. Now it's Cross over the line, Cross moves in, pass in front, loose score! Boston College takes a 4-3 lead. Stephen Whitney hanging out front gets it done. They wanted a penalty call on this play. They felt like uh, if McNeely's in the box for a hit from behind, how about that on cross, none coming. And now BC able to get up ice. It was a two-on-two, -two, but cross. Because Owned by Cam Atkinson, but right back out again by Eibler. And it's Silva moving in. Undermanned off now to McLeod with a shot. Save score! McNeely right out of the box and into the fray. Ties the score for a side. You called it, Don, right out of the penalty box. Getting involved. Now the top line on the ice for Greg Cronin's Huskies. Silver in the middle. He has McNeely on one side, McLeod on the other. McNeely right out of the penalty box. And they just attack the goal. A little crisscross, drop pass, rotate to the front out of the net. Great problems defensively for BC. Possible four on two over the line. Quayle looking in front with his shot on Muse. Able to stop the short side that time with a pad save. Now in front of backhander, score! Reed on the doorstep, two bids, and the second one goes in to put the Huskies on top. And on this play, he's the right wing. He just had a good hard net drive because Northeastern had numbers. If the BC had some pressure, Northeastern did a nice job of pinning them deep in their own zone. They create the turnover. Now they have numbers on the rush. And Reed's just going to hang around the top of the crease once he sees the turnover. And the Eagles break away. Inside 10 minutes left to go in the third period. Romita up ahead now for Arnold, who scores on the backhand to tie the game. Here's this game is going to get tied up. Your backhander by Arnold. He's an impressive kid. I know he plays fourth line duty, but real good speed, hard nosed, does everything solid. 
Northeastern does have a shorthanded goal on the night. Scored earlier by Dungara. Cutting in is Kreider to the forehand. Kreider to the backhand. In front and it goes in. Boston College takes a 6-5 lead. Especially when you have the power play. How you can gain entry into the offensive zone almost seamlessly. And this is a good move, a power move, a power forward move. Protect the puck. If I have any kind of lane to the net, I'm going to take it. And that puck's going to get deflected up on the poke check by Rawlings, but it's going to deflect off the body of Kreider and across the goal line to give BC their second goal in a short period of time to reestablish the lead. I think Northeastern thought that play was offside at the offensive blue line. Now comes Silva, cross score! Northeastern answers and ties the score at six aside with just a minute 46 left to go in regulation. A solid penalty kill by the Huskies. And here's the key. You get your offensive guys, your top line on the ice. After you survive those two minutes, a shorthanded situation. And Silva able to get inside position, carry the puck, and still be in a position to make a play. He's able to get it out of the zone for the Eagles who break. Jim Newland, the defenseman, leading the rush off to the side. Kind of shot. Score! The Boston College Eagles have won the 59th bean pot. Puck gets turned over right around the tops of the circles. Look at how they attack, the speed. The speed and skill of the BC Eagles. They're ranked number one in the nation for a reason. A four-man attack. You stop at the top of the crease. And the big fella, Jimmy Hayes, he's coming right down the middle. He's looking for any kind of opportunity. Well, it's a second opportunity. And he's got a wide open, gaping net to end this hockey game and deliver the bean pod to the BC Eagles for the third time in four years.